Ladies and gentlemen, today is going to be a good day. Today, I finally get to show you the ins and outs and a quick run through, maybe a demo, maybe the mullet gets involved, of the Martinic AX73. This beauty. I'm really looking forward to this. I'm going to jump into this presets menu, go to your presets. I'm going to go for some bass. Let's check to see what they've got. There it is. First one. I love it. I love it. Let's go for this one. I love that already. So when you go to your presets, if you don't like a certain sound, you can always go to the settings and woo! Look at all those. Built-in effects, everything you want in a synthesizer and more. We'll go in a little bit more depth for this later on. So I want this about maybe 12 BPM. And let's start writing something, see what we can create with these presets first. Beautiful. Just want to add a quick sidechain compression on to the Martinic AX73. So it really stands out with the percussion. Hopefully together we can get this song sounding pretty good with maybe six or seven instruments. Let's see what this AX73 can produce. Let's some simple drums. Now Martinic AX73 does have it's built in own percussion sounds as well, and we'll later go over that too, because I'd like to add a bit of that. I think it really stands out on a synthesizer. There's such a wide range of sounds that you can create. It's magical. Beautiful. I love that sound. Simple, but very effective, which is what you want. Now over the top of this, we will want a lead. So let's open the AX73. Easy as that. Go over to presets. Let's see what leads we have. Such a wide variety of sounds. Beautiful. What I do love about this VST plugin is that you can have the upper and lower section of the keyboard split in half, two completely different sounds. So you basically become your own band. Fantastic. And you can design them from scratch. And you can duplicate them. You can copy them over to each other. You can swap them around. So you can really explore, get in depth, and create your own sound. That sound is amazing. I love that sound. Let's add a bit of lead. Let's get that in. Let's take a listen. That's the one. So now I really want to thicken that bass sound, give it another layer with the presets. Let's have a look for some more bases. Oh, that's fantastic. That'll do. So I'm going to copy this base here. See what it sounds like together. I love it. May sound a little bit crazy at the minute, but bear with me and yeah. <laughs> so I think I need to add now some pads 
to the compatible choir. So I'm going to have to presets. And let's see what sounds they have. A fantastic sound. Beautiful sound. The touch of reverb. There's a lot of videos on the um, Martinic YouTube channel explaining the ins and outs of everything. Everything that you see in front of you. And uh, I didn't want to go too in depth today. I will do in a little bit because you know I can't help myself. Today I just wanted to show you what I would do. Uh, I'll go in a little bit of depth but uh, not too much because I, um, you know I can talk forever so. The frequency is very responsive. Very good. Fantastic sound. I like that. Let's see what we have. I love it. <laughs> I am loving this AX73. You did a good job, Martinic. Not bad. So now I've just added a little bit of sidechain compression. You can see I've added it to it and you can hear it. It's a short sidechain, so it reacts very quickly. I have linked it to the kick drum, so it emphasizes the beat. So now we have that, I am looking to find a more complex sound. Something maybe with an arpeggio in it. So I think I've got one that I created myself, which I think would sound pretty good. So you go down to the tags, you've got the type, the character, and the authors but uh yeah you can create your own presets here and you can create them and they'll they'll add down here and you have your favorites here the the favorites the ones you you know enjoy the most you right click toggle favorite easy peasy lemon squeezy it's really simple to use and i absolutely love it so these are all the presets i created and you can have your own preset library as well on my presets you can create them for yourself or you can browse through the gigantic collection of default ones which have come with the AXM3. Okay, so we're after a complex sound. So I've made one here, it looks like. Yes, I remember creating this. This is one of my favorites. That's going in. So because this has an arpeggio in it, and down here, you can create your own arpeggios. I will sync it to my BPM. You see how it slowed down? And you can change the rate right here and increase it. And turn up, you can really hear the difference. And you can also have it on hold as well. Which is awesome. If you don't know where to start off, or if you have writer's block, or you need some inspiration, go to the default presets and find one. Find one you like, find one where you, you know, want to mold off a little bit, you want to change a little bit, and you know, mess around with it. <laughs> Some fun with it, go into the second layer and you know, change, change the sound. 
Do whatever you want with it. Change the attack, stain, LFOs, anything. It's very, very intricate. They've also added this as well, which is absolutely fantastic. If you want to add effects to add a more in-depth sound, a more intricate sound, then you can do so yourself. As shown. And they're very simple to use and adding it these in here. These these were these were the icing on the take on the icing on the cake, the cherry on the icing of the basically allows you just to copy layers if you want to add it maybe a different octave if you want to change the octaves if you want to add a different layer to it a different sound here you can basically pick if you want the split you can choose where you want the split on the keyboard which i find absolutely fantastic because when i was at college i only had a, a small keyboard or i was using you know one of these to to play notes because i didn't have a keyboard at the time and if i wanted to play a bass line if i was performing something live maybe and if i wanted to do a melody i'd only have a range of two octaves on my keyboard so having a split allows you to create it for live performances as well if you use an ableton live something like that so i, re I really enjoy that and then this is where you can obviously create two different layers at the same time maybe a, a bit of an intro maybe we'll see <laughs> So I just want to do a quick dive, figuratively, into, I remember there was a kick drum sound. That's the one, that's the one, because it reminded me of a heartbeat. This is the velocity change. <laughs> it's amazing. Good job, Alert. Ald Alders. My dude. The AXM3 has a wide range also of percussion sounds, which is very interesting because they created these within the synthesizer, so it really shows you that this spectrum is very vast for what sounds you can create. the one and uh, let's get that in let's see if that's the right sound it's perfect that is gonna really emphasize a build-up dramatic I don't want to go too crazy because I always think there's too much going on, especially with synthesizers. There's too many layers, too many melodies going. It gets a bit crazy, but you don't need that many. I think maybe six, seven is just enough for what I'm looking for personally. Now, I think we're going to be looking for a pad to really, really glue all these instruments together. <laughs> Christmas song. <laughs> I've just found this preset here by He Audio and check that bad boy out. And that's something else. The range, wherever you go. And these presets, they've been mastered perfectly. And every sound. So I've cleared up a few things, made a little bit of a structure, and I've added this slow-mo, slow-mo lo-fi pad. I used it as a build-up. 
I recorded it. And I changed the frequency. Slightly increasing it. Until it maxed out. To emphasize a bit of a build up. It's, it's like it's right in front of me. So now we have that in place. Let's take a quick listen and see what we've got. There it is, that heartbeat I was on about. Build up. Here it comes. There it is, that bass. See that lead we added in? The pad really fills out the sound. Pumps with the music. It's beautiful. It's a lot of fun. So now I'm just going to do a quick rundown of what comes with the AX73 and what's inside the product. I mentioned about the presets, they are incredible. Incredible and really fun. Uh, all the default ones in there, you can see the list goes on and on and on and on. You can have a lot of fun. A lot of fun. There is a lot of cuts in this video. Uh, it's basically just me daydreaming playing the keyboard for many moons. <laughs> because I'm just get lost. Uh, in a good way, because it's so inspirational. All these are, and you can create them yourself. You'll, I'll show you quickly how easy it is. You start off with a default sound straight away i really enjoy creating uh, a song with splits i think it's really fun but then layers if you want to really create a depth sound this is the way to do it so i'll go on the low one i've dropped it an octave and then i'll change the wave with something quite soft so a sound sine wave and if you want it you want to hear it by itself you go to split hear that for yourself. So I'll do that now and I'll sub this to this. And also I'll change this. We'll try square. Oof, it's a bit aggressive. Oof. Let's turn the frequency down a bit. Oh that's gritty. So now I've separated that I can add it back into the other layer. Need something that really stands out with the low end when you add it back in. Let's add a bit of chorus in there for a bit. A bit of inspiration. I want a little bit of attack. Yeah. Beautiful. Maybe a little bit of release. That's it. Nice. So now I can change the point. And show you the note on the keyboard where I want to change the split to. I'm going to add a arpeggio to it. So this is really fun and very unique. There's all different sounds you can create. You know how many octaves it goes up as well. Sync it to your track if you'd like. Turn up the rate. I can change the note length so you can hear it. You want to overlay them? That's awesome. You can change the scale. 
You want a bit on the random, if you want to get a bit crazy. Shuffle, let's shuffle between them all. Chord to go if you want to do any house music. I yeah, like that. I'm going to mess with this LFO here. And pan. The best thing about it is you can just keep experimenting. I said when I was designing some of the presets for this, I spent hours and hours and hours learning every part. What's the limits on them? What's different sounds you can create, adding one sound to another sound, different layers. Just having a lot of fun with it and you can do the same. I really recommend it. Well, there are many videos on the internet to help you with the in more in-depth side of the tech involved here. There's one thing I really do enjoy about this product. I'm not the best keyboardist, pianist, but you don't have to be. You don't have to be, and I'll show you why. Some of the presets that I created, and others other people created as well, with the arpeggio and the layers you can add to it, you can basically create multiple sounds without going crazy on the keys, you know? So there's a there's a wide range, and if, and if you are good on the keys, it's, it's even better, obviously. I got sidetracked again. So this is what I was talking about. Single note, you add keys to it. And it manipulates the sound. It adds to the sound. As complex as you want. I can play it with one hand. And it's really fun. So it's very accessible to anyone. Anyone can play it. Really fun. What you need to do is just experiment with the sounds. Experiment with everything you see in front of you. And the videos will explain to you how to do that. And if not, just twizzle a dial, have some fun with it. And that's what music's all about. Be individual with it. Be inspired. I just want to say, overall, the design of this product is 10 out of 10. I'm not just saying that because I've worked on it. I'm saying it because it is. It really is magical. To some people it might be their bread and butter to know what's going on on the screen here. To some people they might have no idea what's going on. But trust me, anyone can have fun with this and get involved, play, have a go. And you know, if you if you if you want something to go off, you can you can go into the factory and you can have a look at all these here and you got something to go off you know I'll, i want to look at i want to look at this brass lead here click on it go to the set look how it's created oh you know that sounds that sounds pretty good i like that i like that and then just go off it have some fun with it change it save it into your own library have some fun and to my dude who does the graphics not bad dude not bad at all so if you want to find this product, go to the martinic.com and go to the home page, it'll be down it. There it is. Look at this. Woo! The AX73 is what we've been on today. And you can also download the free trial if you want to just jam with it and do it. Cookies? Come on, bro. There we go. And if you want to jam with it, and see if you enjoy it, I take my word for it. And if you don't, it is what it is, man. Have some fun with it, you can see. Yo, what's up, man? You can see here, uh, it explains that you've got tutorials, story advanced techniques, blah, 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 blah. Which it, I was gonna go over today, but I, I thought to myself that I'd be talking for weeks and weeks and weeks. If you do want me to do an advanced technique on how I built the presets and how I designed them, then I would happily do that, there's no problem at all. So any requests for that and I'll probably do it. These are all demos you can find out on the website. 
and it's been in depth about the creators. So go check them out and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video, but wait, there's more.